I have here, uh, WWE just put out new retro figures for a four set here. Jerry the King Lawler, Paul Bearer, The Undertaker, and Vader. By Mattel, excuse me. I'd like you to guess, do you know what their finishing maneuvers are? Oh, good Lord. So wait a minute. Now, their finishing maneuvers are listed on the figure box? Or? Well, not, not necessarily their finishing maneuver, but the maneuver that the figure does, I guess. Oh, the figure does a move. Each figure has some sort of action where you can... What if the other figure doesn't want to cooperate? They have no choice depending on what action the first figure can do. The Vader figure, you can kind of pull him back and he'll move forward and belly bop slash Coco butt you. I'm not exactly sure what he's supposed to be doing. Jerry Lawler has a fist. Fist drop? Well, you can pull his fist back and he'll just punch you right in the face. Okay. Uh, the Undertaker lifts his hands up and down. So technically, well, what, he can what lift... If, what? I was about to say, what What does Paul Bearer do? Paul Bearer doesn't have a move. Well, he has his hands also go up and down, but he has an urn in his hand, so he can bop you over the head with the urn. He can hit you with the urn. Yeah. Undertaker only gets his hands to go up and down. He doesn't get to punch anybody or belly bump them or... What do you think Vader's superstar action is called? The Vader bomb. Oh, you would think so, right? Well, I, I would think so. The Vaderizer. Oh, good Lord. <sighs> what was Jerry Lawler's punch known as? Or what would you call it? The, the punch? <laughs> the big right hand? The crown pound. Oh, good Lord. What is it when Paul Bearer hits you with the urn? Um, an urn burn? That's good. The cremation crush. Oh, good Lord. And finally, The Undertaker, when he lifts his hands up and puts them back down. The, the Undertaker prayer? The dead man drop. Because <laughs> he's going to drop you. You know, they used to do that all the time. I would see in TNA, like they, they would make up, you know, quotes. Sometimes Ross Foreman, he, he was the guy doing some of them. And he would get like guys to fill out legitimate shit and everything. But I've seen some trading cards where they'll just make up quotes and make up moves for guys. And, you know, the action figures, when they started coming out years ago, it, not only would they put in like a toilet seat or whatever, just because they saw a guy on TV in a hardcore match. So his forever, his figure is packaged with a fucking disembodied toilet seat. And it's just all these people that work for these companies that not only don't know anything about wrestling, but don't have the respect enough to fucking ask. And so what would this legitimate be? So all the fans look at shit and go, well, fuck, none of that's right. They don't say this. They don't do this, you know, whatever. But it, it always drove me crazy. That ain't going to happen from Cornette's collectibles by Cracky.